As many of you may know, today, December 21st, 2012, is the highly anticipated end of the world according to the Mayan calendar. While sources have indicated that the world has indeed not ended, in an interesting turn of events, one world seems to have been suspended indefinitely. Today, Activision Blizzard announced that its servers will be suspended in order to compensate for a sudden influx of activity in anticipation for the end of days. While some people have found it more important to spend time with family and friends, others found it essential that they finally reach level 85. Although Activision Blizzard plans to have its servers back up by the year 2013, gamers, fans, and parents have all gathered outside the company headquarters, most of them in full costume. We've just received word that some of the protesters have attacked security guards. The police have been notified. While we are still waiting for more news on this situation, our reporters have secured an exclusive interview with the self-proclaimed number one World of Warcraft player. Here's lead reporter on the story. Lead? Are you Are you Today I sat down with the self-proclaimed number one World of Warcraft fan. I don't know. But how is he number Thank one? You. Thank you. Okay. Let's find out. Wait, just making sure you are paying me for this interview in in-game gold, right? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Okay, cool. All right, so how much do you play World of Warcraft every day? Well, I normally log about 19 to 20 hours a day. Um, a, a really good day, I can usually get about 22. How exactly are you able to do that? Well, uh, caffeine drinks. I have maybe six, seven, sometimes even eight of them a day. And then if I, uh, if I really need a boost, this packet contains 100% pure caffeine powder. I snort this and I'm, uh, I'm on. My game's just taken to another level. Isn't that a little bit unhealthy? No, no, caffeine's a harmless addiction. Okay, and uh, 19, 20 hours a day, uh, what do you do for food and bathroom breaks? Well, I, uh, I order all my food online. Um, I've copied my, my dorm and door key, and I've given it to all my delivery guys, so I don't have to get up and get them every time they bring me food. Come in. Hey, uh, got your pizza. Enjoy. You too. Um, so that's that's really convenient. I think technically that's uh that's illegal, but whatever. World of Warcraft's more important than anything else, so I I, I know you understand. Um, yeah, as as uh as for bathroom breaks, I have a catheter that I wear at all times, um, so that takes care of me having to get up and go to the bathroom every half hour, hour or so. It saves me a lot of time, actually. I can uh, focus on World of Warcraft, and I, I take a dump once a day, but my lap desks allows me to continue playing when I do that, so. I don't even know why I play with you guys. Yes, I did toilet flushing. I'm taking a deuce. Shut up. God damn it. I don't even know why I play with you guys. All in all, I, I can focus on what's really important. Now, uh, how do you feel about the shutting down of World of Warcraft? Well, um, to be honest, it's, um, it's been, it's been really hard, actually. <laughs> I've tried a, a number of other online games, but um, nothing, nothing's the same. Nothing gives me... I'm not self-proclaimed number one in any other online game, just World of Warcraft. It's a... I'm sorry, this is, this is too hard, please. Can okay. You, can, you, uh, can you just stop recording? Yes, yes, the yes, of course. He declined to comment further. Back to you, head. Thanks, Lead, for that exclusive story. 
While we were away, a riot erupted outside of the Activision Blizzard headquarters. Our brave crew was on the scene, but unfortunately, our camera was destroyed by an Immolate spell cast by a level 85 Warlock. Sources have just indicated that our crew was actually attacked by a man with a flamethrower that he had strapped to his arm. He was merely pretending to cast a spell. Luckily, one of our extraordinarily brave cameramen, cameraman number three, was able to tackle the perpetrator, but unfortunately, the camera was lost in the scuffle, and everyone was harmed. However, our extraordinarily brave sound team was able to rescue and salvage some of the audio from the riots themselves. Our sound recorder, Jimmy, will play it for us. Jimmy? Who knows, by the sound of it, the Mayans may have been correct.